tonight. He's got the match in perfect conditions and with a tremendous atmosphere inside the stadium. And with no suspensions or injury problems for Rangers, they've managed to turn out their full strength side with Graeme Sooners back in midfield for Derek Ferguson. And Davy Cooper makes his first competitive appearance of the season in place of Ted McMinn. And the United have made three changes on the side which drew at Kilbowie Park on Wednesday night. Out are Holt, Bannon and Milne with places for Dave Bowman and Kevin Gallagher and a key role in midfield for the former Hearts and Coventry youngster Dave Bowman. Colin West laying it off to Nicol. Good build up from Rangers, McCoy's to Nicol. He didn't spot Gallagher. That's one for Goff to chase with David Cooper. And a free kick against Cooper. Cooper just back from suspension and Goff appeared to be outpacing him for that ball. So there was a collision. Cooper lo looked to be losing the race to Richard Goff. So Paul Sturrock taking the free kick put on the United. Goff and Hegarty are in the box. It was John Clark. The header came from Hegarty, but from too far out, the trouble of Chris Woods. <laughs> Bowman doing the marking job on West. Good control from West, supported by Sunis. Now Cooper, well saved by Thompson, but that was good play from Rangers, and relished by the huge crowd. Good play here from Colin West, look at the control, chesting it down, turning, Sunis picking up the sideways pass, back it goes to David Cooper, and that's an awkward one for Thompson to save. Kicks to Rangers. So this wants to take it quickly. Durant turns it back. Big pass into Munro. A butcher. There's McCoyst. Over across by Hegarty. Cooper back to Munro. A good move from Rangers once again. And that almost beat Thompson here, both. It was good goalkeeping in the end, but Stuart Munro trying to deceive Thompson with that effort. Another good build-up from Rangers. Played into the path of Munro going forward. The cross was expected, and Thompson was quick to go down to his right. That's for John Clark, but first winning these battles in the air against Clark at this stage of the match. Sunis looking for the opening. And the collision between Beaumont and West resulting in a free kick to Rangers. And a lecture for the United defender. For that outburst of dissent. And Refi Crombie making it clear early in the match that he won't stand for that. So a discussion between Fraser and Sunis over the free kick. Butcher's in the box, there's Terry Butcher. And Hegarty challenging with him, Butcher turning, looking for a penalty kick. Well, did Hegarty ease Butcher off the ball? We'll see from this replay as the ball is flighted in, Butcher made the run. There was Hegarty, and the referee saw nothing of this. What a kick taken by Davy Cooper. Butcher again in the box. And still at one run for Rangers. Ali McCoy's from the shot, which is blocked in the line, but the United defence looking very rocky indeed. That corner kick. And a free kick against David Cooper, bringing down Kevin Gallagher. So at the corner kick, right across the far side, Butcher won it, nodding it down, a missed kick there by Bowman. McCoy's turning it towards goal, but the United defence was there in numbers. Gallagher. Both Durant and Monroe with him, happy to take the throw in, which Richard Goff will take. Here's Bowman. 
looking for John Clark at the far corner of the box but he's being very well policed by McPherson McPherson turned it out but he hasn't put a foot wrong so far in the match the Rangers centre half Sturrock returns it to Redford Now pass to Redford now Sturrock now pass available once again that's for Richard Goff. Play to the ball again, affected by the breeze. And down goes Goff. Davy Cooper was the culprit. And this time it'll be some paperwork for the international winger. So Goff gets back on his feet. And you see the high ball coming in here from Malpass. Misjudged in the air. The wind's carrying it away from the two players. Goff going for it with Davy Cooper. A trip from Cooper, down goes Goff and Cooper who's just back from suspension is booked by referee Combi and that's his third foul of the match so he really has no complaints so the two man wall, Cooper and Durant being waved back players jockeying for position inside the box the referee insisting on the wall going back before Paul Sturrock takes the kick Goff's header and Woods made that look easy weighted in by Paul Stark a powerful header this from Richard Goff but Woods saw it all the way Durant switches it wide again to Fraser making that right touch line with Jimmy Nicol Using Fraser of the decoy. The layoff from McCoy. There's Sunnis. A brilliant save from Thompson. Well, that was international class goalkeeper. And Graham Sunnis can scarcely believe it, I'm sure. Brilliantly set up this by Rangers. Ball well, laid into the path of Sunnis by Ali McCoy. He tried to measure the shot beyond Thompson. And that's a brilliant save. Moment again being west in the air. The other pass from Sunnis finds Fraser. Late challenge by Malpass this time. Malpass clearly aggrieved about the free kick, but he certainly appeared to obstruct Fraser. Free kick's been given. Butcher in the box again, trying to find space. There was Paul Hegarty's head, which reached the ball first, and that'll be a corner kick to Rangers. Rangers carry tremendous threat in the air but Paul Higgerty has been through it all so many times before there's out swinger there's McCoy <laughs> 26 minutes gone Rangers go ahead and Ibrox comes alive This by the United defence, it broke off West, and there was McCoy swivelling to turn the ball beyond Billy Thompson. Ali McCoy top goal in three matches, and very much on course to be a leading goal scorer again this season. Bowman finding Hegarty on the right, Goff pushing forward. Down goes Redford, the foul by Sunnis. Immediate apology by the Rangers player manager. had come out of off his line but Nicol took no chances and he used it to Sunnis and the full pressure that United have stepped up the pace and attempt to get back in the match Cooper finds Durant in midfield Cooper switching it to Fraser on the right now Nicol Boyce back to Nickel. Boyce again looking for Cooper on the left. And Cooper almost went from golf. There goes Sturrock now testing the pace of Butcher. And the sliding tackle 
Campbell from the Rangers captain. Wins possession for Rangers. There's Munro, now West. Taking on Bowman on the ground this time. A long ball across, Fraser arriving late from the right flank. Malpass forced to concede the corner kick. A signal for Gary Butcher to sprint forward to the box. Fraser towards Sunas, but it's cut up by Bowman. Durant's first time effort is picked up by Hegarty. Nicole sliding it in, there's West. A bit of pushing there on Richard Goff, the free kick to United. Another of the new scoreboard at Ibrox, telling any latecomers the precise position. 27 minutes gone, Rangers 1, Dundee United 0. Sunes through the middle is McCoy, he's onside, a great chance for Rangers. Brilliantly taken. Sheer striking genius from Ali McCoy. Eight minutes of half time, 2-0 to Rangers. And the Ibrox flyer again in full voice. A brilliant pass start from Graham Sunas, splitting the United defence. And McCoy beats Thompson with continental applause. to the final minute of a splendid first half full of good football and no nastiness at all no two hefty tackles but that's well under the control of referee Bill Crombie there's no question that football has been the word this afternoon so far there goes the half time whistle applause all around the stadium for Rangers and right well they deserve it a superb first half performance punctuated by these two excellent goals from Ali McCoy. The first coming in the 26th minute when a corner kick from David Cooper wasn't picked up by the United defence. It broke from Colin West and the swivelling turn from McCoy left Thompson with no chance at all. And then eight minutes of half-time, an even better finish when Sunas split to the square United defence. McCoy deceived Billy Thompson to rifle home the second and that makes the half-time score Rangers 2. as Rangers get the second half underway and there have been some changes in the camps the Rangers midfield player Ian Durant has not reappeared because of injury and Derek Ferguson is on in his place also a change in the in the United ranks but here's Sturrock in the break turning Butcher back it comes towards Gallagher and no threat there to Chris Woods but the change in the United team is to bring on Eamon Bannon on the left side of midfield. He's winning number 14 and he has replaced John Clark up front with uh, Ian Redford moving into attack and Bannon in midfield. Bannon to golf. Too long for Redford. Here's Dominico. up again by Bannon who becomes a seventh international in the United lineup. And then Kamara substitute. Redford now to Bowman. Here's Bowman. Good pass finding Sturrock on the right. Looking for support inside. There's Goff. Chance for United and it's scrambled away by Nicole. There's Bowman. And again Nicole blocks it to Goff. And a corner kick this time and suddenly the Rangers defence looks ragged. Well, chances going a bag in for Dundee the United. There was Paul Sturrock turning, eventually picking out Richard Goff's forward run. Right across the face of the goal, well, no takers, Jimmy Nichols clearance. There was Bowman shot and Nickel in the way once again. They got his header. Redford couldn't reach it, and that's a Rangers goal.
Fogarty. Mick Ferguson, Mike to Sinus. Holding off Bowman. And roll inside for Cooper. Over cutting it slightly, allowing Hegarty to sweep the ball away as far as Jimmy Nichol. Now Fraser. That's towards West. Hegarty's headed out. West once again. And Cooper was offside. Yes, picked up by a linesman and then by referee Crombie. Fraser, West attacking it well and Thompson happy to collect it. Eamon Bannon. Gallagher picks it up. And that's one back to Dundee United. Confusion in the Rangers defence and Kevin Gallagher brings back the deficit to one. And the inquest going on now among the Rangers defenders. Brooks and Munro in disarray here. There appear to be no danger at all. Each leaves it to the other. Kevin Delica steps in. And United are back in the match. Cooper. Wandering in field to become more involved in the play. Takes it back from Butcher. Sunis. Fraser. There is Heather out. Collected again by Sunis. Measured pass once more, picks out Cami Fraser. Sunis again. With Fraser. Header came from Bannon. From the cross goal for West. Trying to make space. There's Sunis. A fine effort from Graham Sunis. Couldn't quite keep the ball down. Starting from the throw on the right, headed out from Bannon. Played a cross goal by Ferguson. There was West using his physique in the box. It broke to Sunis. That's not far away. Bannon again. Getting lots of support now, joining him in midfield and up front. Rangers two getting men back. Well, there's not a small pass up with the attack, and Woods goes down on his feet. Well, once again, a gap appearing in the Rangers' defence, exploited by Morris Malpass. Yes, that can play out to Fraser. Here's Jimmy Nichol. West of McCoy waiting in the middle. That person offering himself on the outside. That person forcing it over the far side to David Cooper. Here's McCoy. With more time than he realised, I think, Gary McCoy. He could have controlled that, but tried the first time. Snapshot on the left foot. See Cooper playing it in there. McCoy's had quite a lot of room there. Free kick to United, quickly taken by Holt. But it'll have to be retaken. The referee wasn't satisfied that the ball was stationary. Well, the crowd inside Ibrooks. Very quiet, suddenly. They enjoyed 
much of the match earlier on, but there's Redford now. Garricker! Equaliser for Dundee United. Here, Coy for Kevin Garricker. And the Rangers crowd is stunned. Six minutes left for play. The long ball played forward. Headed on by Hegarty. Wasn't cleared with the Rangers defence. It dropped for Gallagher. The decisive shot beats Woods. And United are back on level terms. Oh, what an afternoon for Kevin Gallagher. Well, the Rangers fans leaving the scene early in some dismay. Chris Woods has been left badly exposed twice by his defence. That's why it's two apiece. Well, Sturrock is back on his feet and he may indeed take the free kick. Shot from Sturrock to Bannon. Bannon flights it in. A touch from him from Redford. And Ian Redford on his return to Ibrox has snatched what surely must be the winner for Dundee United. Just three minutes left to play. The free kick well engineered by Dundee United. Stir up short to Bannon. He checked back onto his left foot. The near post cross. Redford was there and Wood was left helpless.